Hi YouTube, this is going to be my August favourites. I have quite a few things to get through, I don't want to bore you and sort of take forever. And in case you're wondering, I do have a plaster on my face, I have had stitches, which I'm getting removed in two days, so just to let you guys know in case you're wondering. Anyway, let's get into my favourites. The first thing is something which I have loved for such a long time, and it is the Simple Cleansing Facial Wipes. I think personally are amazing. They're definitely my favourite wipes that I have owned. They're really, really soft and gentle on your face and they don't really have the fragrance to them which I really, really like. I feel like they do remo remove my makeup and also, I mean, just, in just another little piece of information is that they are apparently the number one UK cleans cleanser brand. So, I mean, you know, what more do you want? Love them. Uh, so no alcohol, no perfume, no colour, and vitamin one or something or other. So yeah, favourite. Been a favourite for years when it comes to facial wipes. The next is from Clearasil and it is the pore cleansing pads and there are 65 of them. These are amazing. If you do have sensitive skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this because they do, they are quite strong and they do sort of sting your face. But for me, I feel like it's because it's actually cleaning my face and dirt. Sorry, I mean, I'm not disgusting, but, you know, they do really clean your face. You can see that they clean your face. So they come like that, and you have so many of them, so they're just... Maybe I should just show you one. They're just these little pads like this. They do have that sort of alcohol strong scent about them, but that doesn't put me off at all. I mean, I do feel like it does a lot of good to my skin, and I feel like my skin looks a lot cleaner once I've used these. So I do recommend them if you do not have very sensitive skin, then this is... I mean, this, again, like the Simple Wipes, has been a favourite of mine for a good few years now. I always end up going back to this. So that is a favourite. Another favourite of mine is a YouTube cult person, I believe it is. It's the Liz L Cleanse and Polish. So, yeah, obviously you, most of you will know how this works. So it comes like that. You have your hot cloth, um, little pumping tube. And, yeah, I just love it. Again, really light fragrance, which I like. I really feel like it cleans my skin. My skin feels so much softer after I used it. Just just love it. Just absolutely love it. Another favourite of mine, facial cleansing wipes. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, is this rose water. I feel like this is like... It reminds me... I mean, something I could compare it to be like the Evian spray. I mean, it's just really nice. If you feel like your face wants to be wants to be refreshed then I love this I love the smell of rose anyway obsessed with anything that smells like rose I don't know why I think because I was a child I used to drink rose flavoured milk yeah weird um anyway love it I got this from a Greek shop I'm not really sure where you'd be able to get something like this but I mean if you love rose like I do and you want your skin to feel refreshed just before you put makeup on then this was like pound eighty, but it's amazing I've already used this much I've only had it for like two three weeks but I love it so another favorite of mine is the Nils Yard eye to white tea eye toning gel this is just not going to focus at all anyway it comes like that little pump like this and yeah I don't really like thick eye creams personally so this is perfect for me because it's just really light I feel like it just absorbs into my skin just before I want to put concealer on so if my eye, if my under eyes are feeling a little bit dry, then this just really wakes them up without them being too moistured or whatever. So yeah, really nice. Love that. And this, yeah, I'm not sure how much that is. I know the Liz Earl is, I think, about £12, which I got from John Lewis. And the Simple Wipes you can get from Boots as well as these Clearasil pads as well. Sorry, I forgot to say. And... Moving on to beauty makeup products, I've got three MAC products which I love, love, love. But before I go into that, let me just tell you about this. The Laura Mercier Tinted Illuminating Moistru Moisturiser in Warm Radiance. And yeah, I just love it. It gives my skin a healthy glow because it is illuminating. It comes in the little tube like this. And you get a lot of product. I think it's about £35, which is quite a lot. But I mean, if you do want to splurge, then... I do recommend this personally because it is a really good balance between it's a really good middle because it's not really thick as a foundation it's not really light so it's just that good balance it gives you enough coverage to be you know a tinted moisturizer but not enough to be a foundation sort of it's just amazing is what I'm trying to say 
to sum that up. The next, so once I've put that tinted moisturiser on, once I've put my um, concealer on, I then put on this Mineralize Max Skin Finish in Warm Radiance. just comes like this. And yeah, just love it. Put it on with a powder brush. Really nice. Set my makeup. And then also just to highlight, I really love this Soft and Gentle by MAC, which is like a marbly sort of effect. So it's like this. It's like a goldy, silvery colour. Really nice just to highlight your cheekbones. Love that. And then the next is two lip products, which I love. And one is the Revlon Matte Lipstick in Pink Pout. And this is a matte lipstick, but it's not really drying. It is a really nice, it's this one here. So it's a pinky nude colour. I love this. I've been using this for a really long time as well. And then the next one is a Soap and Glory Lip Plumper in Nude. So it's like that. And it's this sort of brownie colour here. It's quite sheer. Really like, really like putting this on top of the nude lipstick. Um, if you don't like things that sort of sting, because it is a lip plumper, which most of the ones that I've tried do sting a little bit, then I would not recommend this. But if you don't mind that, and you like the smell of chocolate, then you will really, really like this. And I know it comes in three or two other colours, a light pink and I think a cleary, silvery colour one as well, which obviously wouldn't come out like that, but yeah. And I got this from Boots. Uh, no, sorry, I got this from ASOS, but I know that they sell them in Boots because I got one previously from Boots. So if you're interested in trying that out, then that's where you can get it from. Another thing is the MAC products. I said I had three, so I forgot to mention this one. And it is the Halt Naughty Lash Mascara. So it comes like this with the two tubes, which I know is a really big craze at the moment in the makeup world. And I think Revlon have a dupe like this, which is... I think probably slightly cheaper than that one, which I've heard is really, really good. So obviously you get the one thinner brush like that, which I like to put under my, on my lower lashes. And then you have this one, which is a slightly thicker one. And mine's a black mascara, so yeah, this is really good. I love it. I do recommend this one. And what else do I have to show you guys? one other thing which is kind of weird ish a random thing for me to be adding but it is for cracked heels I sometimes wear impractical shoes and I do suffer sometimes from getting dry heels so I mean if anyone has the same problem then I would recommend this I went with my friend to the pound shop the other day and she bought three or four of these and I was like what like what are you doing like why are you buying so many she's like this is really really good like really good and I was like oh so I've got cracked heels I was like okay I'm gonna try it so I bought one I've been using it for a few weeks now and it's really good I do recommend it and for a pound I was like do you know what I'm willing to try it out and I'm glad I did because it is really effective and then the other one I personally love this I'm so glad that I saw my boyfriend's brother's sister sister girlfriend sorry with it in her hair so oh my god where did you get that from and she got it from the pound shop so when i was there i got this also sorry i'm blabbering so much but it's basically for your hair so once you come out i always get annoyed when i put a towel on so this is perfect so um yep you wrap your so you've got this little button you wrap it around your head twist the back like this and then you loop the two like that so it's like a like this so this is amazing. So when I put like a deep conditioning in my hair, which it really needs at the moment, then I can just leave this on. So I find towels really annoying. Then I'll leave this on and it just is amazing. So this is the, these are the steps. Just maybe if it makes it easier than my crap explaining. So yeah, I don't know if you're able to see that. but So yeah, I recommend that. If you're passing a pound shop, then you know, maybe you'd want to go and get this. And is that it for my favourites? got one more they're two of the same pro two same type of products but different brands first is the Sally Hansen airbrush legs I sort of I've almost run out of it so well basically I more or less have run out of it but I'm just too upset to get rid to throw it away because I need to buy another one and it's in the what color is this one I know it comes in a few colors medium glow amazing it's like foundation on my legs it's just brilliant I have used it hence why it's just disgustingly grimy and dirty all around the nozzle bit and then I got um this which is the same sort of concept by L'Oreal and it's the micro fine spray foundation for legs in fact it's the same concept isn't it it's really good I'm not sure if I prefer it to the Sally Hansen one but 
this is really good I can't remember how much this was because my mum actually got this one for me so but this is really good if you want to try something different from the Sally Hansen one then this is maybe something you could try and then I think that's actually it for my favourite so sorry I, I feel like I've been talking really really fast but I didn't want to end up boring you guys so anyway these are my August favourites and yeah let me know your August favourites maybe put a link below to your your channel or things that you've really really been loving I'm interested to know and I will see you all soon